Okay, so today I'm going to explain what a bottleneck spanning tree is. So a bottleneck spanning tree is uh, not a minimum spanning tree, but every minimum spanning tree is a bottleneck spanning tree. So that's a little confusing. So here's uh, four main points that are always apply. So you can look at those if you get a little confused, but I'm going to jump straight into an example. So here's a graph and the minimum spanning tree is right here. So the first thing we want to look at here is there's three edges. So here's one edge, here's two edge, here's three edges. So there's three edges total in this uh, minimum spanning tree. But if we add the weight up, so if we add uh, one plus two plus three, we're gonna end up getting six. So that's the edge weight. So we need to know that as well for the minimum spanning tree because here, I'll just show you. The minimum bottleneck spanning tree is this right here. And we use the same amount of edges. So we still use three edges compared to three up here as well. But if we add up the, the weights of each edge, we actually get seven for the edge weight. And we can do this because there's two threes. So since we did that, we could eliminate the two and we get to every single node or vertex in the same amount of edges, but the weights are different, so it's worse. But that is a bottleneck spanning tree because you use threes at the end of it instead of the two, but you still have the same amount of edges. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them and I'll try to help. Thanks.